Jane Skip and Pete. Jane Skip and Pete. It's called Right Now, getting a lot of play on the Sirius XM station, The Highway. Walker told Rolling Stone, Right Now is a great song for couples. Yeah. Great song for couples. Yeah. What it, else is? It took three years. <laughs> what? what uh, why? Why wait three years for this? I'm in a great spot. You know, been able to sit back and watch the the music format change a lot. You know, mm -hmm. the last few years, last five years really, and so I, I, it just gave me a really. I call it the catbird seat. You know, just sitting there uh -huh. watching the way it was going and then seeing what was going to stick, and I was able to really decide what kind of production I was going to use. What do you mean by the, the format changing, the, the direction well, that know, country well, music has gone? Sure, country music has, you know, uh, historically swung back and forth from traditional to a little more progressive, and, and now it's, it's uh, very progressive. And I mm -hmm. think some of, the, some of the fans are giving some feedback, you know, that they, they, they long for a little more country sound, so I was able to take what's, what's new and be able to fit in with that, with the new production on the new album. Mm -hmm. It is a tough balance, and you've actually been an outspoken critic of um, how the industry's kind of been stagnant when it, when it comes to sure. using modern devices in, in country music, but sometimes the fans do I think get it's upset. great. I think we're in a great place. You know, mm -hmm. we needed a change in our format, and I mean, we've got a lot of new fans, a lot of younger fans to come over, and, and uh, I think at the same time, you, you have to feed the ones that have been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, the people that have been loyal to it. You look at the song like this, and this is a, a huge hit that you had. Um, and I guess just good songs really stand the test of time. You know, I was listening to this today, I'm like, yeah, this is like, you know, you just, I was humming it all day when you, when you hear it, you know? <laughs> well, when that song came out, it was very progressive at uh -huh. the time. You know, you had George Strait, Randy Travis you know, and Garth Brooks and Clint Black were really, you know, on top mm -hmm. right then doing more traditional stuff. And when I did What's It To You, it was like a, it was a trendsetter. You know, mm -hmm. the, the, my producer at the time, James Shroud, found the song and it was just like, here we go, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, hang on. Was, Do you know it when you have a hit on your hands? Oh, yeah. You yeah, know you, it. You know. I mean, sometimes you, you, you're, you guess a little, you know, if it's really, you never record any song that you don't think is a hit. But sure. you know when you really have a big one. Mm -hmm. And it's nice. It's a great feeling. You live in Nashville, and one thing, I, I, I walk through, you know, some of the bars and stuff like that, and you hear the talent out there. There's so much. Do you know when there really is talent? And like, this is something like this day and age, you need to have this sort of like brand power that pushes you over the edge. Yeah. It makes you something different than, than what's out there. Sure, I mean, it's, it's like you guys, you, you make a great match up there, you know. And, Aww. And uh, you, you have to, there has to be a certain unique quality about you, or you're not, or you're not really, uh, I guess, marketable, you know, if you're just the same as everybody. You have to have a little bit different sound. Maybe it's the way you talk or, or sing a little bit differently is, you know, maybe it's more twangy, maybe it's, maybe it's just Keith Urban, you know, mm -hmm. he's yeah. from, from uh, Australia, you know, it's a different, different vibe. I mean, I think that's certainly mm -hmm. helped him. So you must be excited about this new, this new uh, hit, this new song that just came out. I, I am, you know, the fans have been asking, you know, especially on our socials, you know, uh, and I love being on Twitter and Facebook and communicating directly with fans. And, and everybody has been asking for a long time, when's new music? And I mm -hmm. keep teasing it, you know, finally it's here. And it's, uh, it's, it's awesome to see their reaction uh, to it live. We started doing some of the songs live first, mm -hmm. and then uh, we decided to go with this one. And, but there'll be more to come. You were telling Lauren and I that you, you love... Fans in California. <laughs> my gosh, I've got to tell you, touring here is like... It's like the highlight of my year. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm from Texas. Houston mm -hmm. is my favorite place to perform. But, but uh, if, as far as one city, but man, this, the West Coast is, I mean, people love, love, love country music. And they love cowboys they sure here, do. too. We have so many ex-Texans here, too. Mm -hmm. I feel like that Easy. they just love. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what it, no. No, it, no it, I mean, they love, you know, yeah. hearing, hearing uh, hometown music. But um, you also are such a um, role model f for MS and you do a lot for the cause and you've lived with it for 20 years yeah yeah after getting a death sentence basically when you were so young that was that was difficult you know and it's still difficult to talk about sometimes uh, but I speak about it because I know that it, it can help other people who are especially newly diagnosed that have gotten bad prognosis mm -hmm. and when I and you know let me say this I'm doing great um, I was diagnosed uh, in 1996, and the doctor who diagnosed me told me that I would be in a wheelchair in four years and dead in eight. And at the time, you know, there still there's not a lot known 
about what causes yeah. multiple sclerosis. You know, but uh, through my partnership with Tevin Neuroscience, I've learned a lot about how to live with MS. And mm -hmm. so I try to share that, you know, through interviews like this and, mm -hmm. and just be an ambassador mm -hmm. uh, for people. I mean, I've got, you know, a game plan that I follow that, mm -hmm. that I've, and let me say this, I've been relapse free for 17 years. That means oh. not is, one new thing on my What do you attribute MRI. that to? Um, it, just healthy living. You know, I, I think it's very important for, for People that have MS, we, we, have, we have to watch everything. In other words, you know, I have diet and exercise, you know, and uh, medication. And I can't miss out on one of those three things. Mm -hmm. those, those three components are key for me to, to live a normal and full, fulfilled life. Mm -hmm. You know, if you may, you know, have a great exercise routine and eat terribly, right. you know, and you're fine. Mm -hmm. Me, I've got, I can't miss. It's got to be right on schedule. And I... And I Actually, my wife, uh, Jessica, has really helped me with, with the diet part of it, you know, mm -hmm. keeping great stuff in the house to eat. You've know, well, got to have a team, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, you know, and the kids are fun. You know, and, you know, I have to take a shot three times a week, so they, they kind of they'll help out with that as long as they're not fighting over who gets to stick me. But, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's, a, it, it's a great life. You know, it's a far cry from my original diagnosis. I have a, a great neurologist, and I think that's key. Mm -hmm. For anybody who's diagnosed with MS, especially to, to maintain a relationship with that doctor because there's always new things that are happening and you need to know what, the, what they are. You know, when I was diagnosed, there, there was really nothing that, that could really slow the disease down and now there's several medications right. out there that people can... Well, you, can, you definitely are an inspiration to a lot of people and we're glad that you're healthy, you look great, you sound great. Oh, thank you uh, so right much. now is available wherever music is sold. You can, right now, sense of urgency. Yeah. You can see why. <laughs> yeah, live right now, when right? I saw my wife, yeah. I said, I gotta have her right, right now. now. <laughs> I love that story. I love it. Play Walker. It's gonna Thanks be our for coming in, Bobby. Bobby. Right now. Yeah. We'll be right back. It's good for couples. It is. It is. <laughs> you guys should think about it. <laughs>